Hey guys, we're Tired at 40. Today we're doing the third recipe in a series of recipes that will lead up to a freeze-dried, all plant-based video. <laughs> it's a real simple recipe. It's called butter cauliflower. It's based on some Indian cuisine and in half an hour or less you'll have a meal ready to go. I'm going to kind of split this up into two different parts. Uh, one is for the sauce and one is for the cauliflower mixture. So for the sauce, you're going to need salt, cumin, ground ginger, garam masala, chili powder, and some raw cashews. And then you'll also need some water. You're also going to need a can of tomato paste. And then for our cauliflower mixture, we just need one head or six cups of uh, chopped cauliflower. We need four cloves of garlic, a yellow onion, and some butter. We're going to do the sauce first, and everything just needs to go into a blender. If you have a high power blender, it will work a little bit better. You need two and three quarters cups of water. And then add half a cup of raw cashews. Okay, next we're going to go with a six ounce can of tomato paste. Next we're going to do one tablespoon of garam masala. Then we're going to do a teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. All right, then we're going to take all this and we're going to throw it on a high power blender. I use a Vitamix because it's so powerful. Um, if you don't have a high powered blender, you can actually boil those cashews for about 10 minutes and that just ensures that you have a creamy sauce. All right, let's take, and see, take a look and see what this looks like. Looks like it's ready to go. So I'm going to get some rice going because this meal goes really good with rice and uh, also naan if you have naan. I'm also curious to see what happens to rice when I freeze dry it. I've always been curious to see what happens to it. And after this dish is done, I'm going to put it in my freeze dried video that's coming up next week. Okay, so next we're going to get a big pan or pot and we're going to put one tablespoon of garlic in. We're going to do two tablespoons of butter and we're going to melt that butter. And then we're going to chop up our one yellow onion. Once our onion's chopped, we're going to go into the pan with it. We're going to cook this garlic and the onions until they're translucent. And while we're waiting on that, we're going to cut up our cauliflower. Alright, our onions look ready, so we're going to throw the cauliflower in. Then we're going to take our sauce and we're going to cover it with the sauce. So once all your sauce is in, just give it a good stir, get all those uh, cauliflower florets covered with sauce. And we really like this recipe because you can make your own interpretation. We've added peas and mushrooms and really just about anything that will go with it. So when that's all covered, we're going to bring it to a simmer and then we're going to keep it covered. We're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. A good way to tell if this is done is you should be able to stick a fork through the floret real easily. Uh, I don't like it too soft, but a little crunch still is, is good. But this is, uh, this is looking just about perfect. You also don't want to keep it on too high of heat because it's, it's uh, pretty easy to burn the sauce. Alright, so like I said, this is getting freeze dried because I'm going to put this in a freeze dried video. So I'm going to actually freeze dry the ingredients separate. I'm going to put the rice on one side and the cauliflower on the other side. And once this is done, I would take the rice and I would cover, cover the rice with the cauliflower and then just put a, a dab of cilantro on there, serve it with some naan, you've got yourself an awesome meal. Alright, there you go, there's the butter cauliflower. It's an easy meal to make, it's very rewarding, it's filling, and it's healthy. It's vegan friendly, it's vegetarian friendly, it's plant-based friendly. 
Remember to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. It really helps the uh, YouTube algorithm get this video to the people who actually want to see it. And as always, feel free to leave a comment. I love hearing from the community. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This is Retired at 40, reminding you to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.